Hi community of awesome, I'm Ava J and this is Bookish Pixie. So as I've been working on my latest revision round on my current work in progress, I've been thinking a lot about characters. More specifically, I've been thinking about what my favorite types of characters are and why I like them so much. And it didn't take me long to figure out that one of my favorite types of characters to read and write are characters who are not perfect. Now by not perfect, I don't just mean they have a cute little flaw like they're clumsy. I'm talking about characters who make really big mistakes with huge consequences. Characters that struggle with conflicting emotions that sometimes don't make sense. Characters who make really bad decisions for what seems like really good reasons. Characters who are messy and sometimes act ugly. Characters who hurt people they love and refuse help when they need it. Characters who are stubborn and angry and have to face consequences completely because of their choices. Sometimes these characters are called unlikable characters. I just call them real. There are two reasons that I love these types of characters so much. The first is that perfect characters honestly are really boring to read. These types of characters are also difficult to connect to because we aren't perfect in real life and so when we see perfect characters on the page who are always there to save the day and don't make any mistakes, it kind of gets old pretty fast. And the second reason, which is kind of related to the first, is just that it's realistic. People are not neat beings that you can put into a box and label with a few little descriptors. People are messy and they deal with conflicting emotions and they make bad decisions and they lash out at people and that's just the reality of it. Not only are these types of characters easier to connect to because we see parts of ourselves in them, but they're also just way more interesting to read about. So next time you're working on your characters, take a good hard look at them and make sure they're making mistakes and they're not too perfect. Not only will this give you an opportunity to insert a lot more conflict and tension into your narrative, but your readers will thank you for it. So that's all I got for today. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys next week.